Hello friends, today we are going to solve four most important questions of AP which are frequently asked in board examination. So let us start question number one. The sum of three numbers in AP is 27 and their product is 405. Find the numbers. I had selected this question because in textbook you will not get any such type of question and the things which we want to we we have to use it here so what we have to use it here as they had told us sum of three numbers in ap so at that time when they will give you this type of sum sum of three numbers at that time we have to suppose it as a minus d a and a plus d this is not given in your textbook that what you have to do when sum of three numbers and product is given sometimes they will give you sum of four numbers and their product sometimes they will tell you the sum of five numbers and their products at that time what we have to do so when three numbers are they will when they will give you sum of three numbers at that time we have to suppose this when they will give you sum of four numbers at that time we have to suppose it differently at that time we have to suppose the numbers as a minus 3d a minus d a plus d and a plus 3d when sum of five numbers are given to you at that time we have to add here a minus 2d and a plus 2d when odd numbers are there we will support it directly but when even numbers are there, we have to leave one number and then we have to suppose it. Why that I am going to explain you when I am going to solve this. When sum of five numbers directly I told you a minus 2d, a minus d, a, a plus d and a plus 2d. When five numbers are This way you have to carry on. Now sum of three numbers is 27. So we have to add these are our three numbers. We had suppose the sum of three numbers are this. So a minus d plus a plus a plus d is equal to 27 sum of three number is 27 now we will cancel this d because this is a minus d this is this is minus d this is plus d so we will get 3a is equal to 27 and a is equal to 9 so this way we will get from the sum a and from the their product product we will get difference how Look here, a minus d into a into a plus d is equal to, they told us, 405. So, a minus d into a plus d will become a square minus d square into a is equal to 405. Now, we are having a is 9, so 9 square minus d square into 9 is equal to 405. We are going to divide it. 9 square minus d square is equal to 405 by 9. 9 ones are 9, 4 are 36, 4, 45. Now this 9 square, so 81 minus d square is equal to 45. Take this d square here, so it will become positive. 81 minus 45 is equal to d square. So 11 minus 5, 6, and this will be 3. d square is equal to 36. So what will be our D? Now if we are going to find root of this 36, so it can be plus or minus 6. Here we will get 2D. Means positive 6 also and negative 6 also. So now we will get two APs from this. How? Look here. A is even now we will put the value of A 9 minus first we are going to take plus 6. 9 minus 6. So our first AP will be 3 then 9 and 9 plus 6. It will be 9 plus 6 will be 15 and then 9 minus minus 6 then this will become plus so that AP will be 15 9 and 3 so these are our two APs question number 2 if m times the nth term of an AP is equal to n times its nth term prove that m plus nth term of the AP is 0 means they told us m time mth term is equal to n time nth term this is term actually so t term. 
now for that we are going to do m into bracket mth term a plus m minus 1 into d this is the simple formula for mth term this n multiply with a plus n minus 1 into d this is the simple formula now we are going to multiply with this first d with this two and then a with a plus md minus d into m and n multiply with a plus nd minus d now multiply am plus m square d minus md equals to na plus n square d minus nd now take all this number on one side am minus an this am this n plus m square d my Minus n square d because this will we will take it here minus m d and plus n d equals to zero. Now take out a common d from all this common. Look here, I am writing here a common. So this will become a m minus n and this d common. So here it, we will get m square minus n square. I am writing in bracket. I am and d also I will take out common. I will tell you what I had done here. Generally, students are getting confused. First, I had taken d common. Now, d outside. So, here it is m square minus n square minus m plus n. But again, I had taken out minus common. So, that it will become m minus n. Now, look here. Here also m minus n. Here also we will get m minus n. And here we will get two factors. m minus n and m plus n. So, take out m minus n common from all this number. Look here, I, I had taken out m minus n common. Now the remaining part will be a here plus here m minus n is taken out. So m plus n and here nothing will remain. So that will be minus 1. So our remaining part will be m plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 0. Now you can see we want to prove its m plus nth term is 0. So we know that this is the mth term and this will go here first i will take this 0 upon m minus n so this will remain a plus m plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 0 because this will get cancelled 0 upon anything will become 0 and this is the formula or you can take take, take it as result number 1 now we know what is m a m plus n term a m plus n term is equal to a plus a plus this is m plus n minus 1 into d so we know what is the value of this equals to 0 so directly i can write a m plus n term is equal to 0 so this way we can solve this question number 3 if nth term of an ap be 1 by n and its nth term be 1 by m then show that its mnth term is 1 so they told nth term is 1 by n. So directly with simple arithmetic progression formula, it's 1 by n when nth term. So it is a plus m minus 1 into d. This is result number 1. They, they said nth term is 1 by n. m. So 1 by m is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d result number 2 look here this is the simple thing everybody can write down this that nth term is 1 by n so this is our nth term that is 1 by n and this is our nth term that is 1 by m now what we have to do we want m nth term so just we have to subtract this subtracting 2 from 1 directly i am writing here 1 minus n minus 1 by n here also we can subtract this just I am writing down so that you come to know a minus a this also this I am first multiplying and then writing md minus d plus md minus d and this nd minus d but we are subtracting so the sign will be changed here also minus here also and here also minus so all sign will become changed and this will be minus nd plus d now cancel whatever we can this a will get cancelled this d d will become 
cancel and here we have to find out LCM. So this will become M minus N upon MN and this will become MD minus ND. You can take out D common. So this will become MD. So D common M minus N. Now this here also M minus N here also we can cancel it. You can take it in the denominator. It will get cancelled and we will get 1 by MN is equal to D. This is our result number 1. We got the value of D. Now we want to find the value of A by putting this in any one of the equation. I am going to put it in the first one that 1 upon N is equal to A plus M minus 1 into D. D is 1 by MN. So first I will distribute this MN with both this and what will happen it will get cancelled what will get cancelled let us see 1 by n equals to a plus if i will multiply with this here it will be 1 minus n because m m will get cancelled and here minus 1 into 1 minus 1 upon m now again this will get cancelled and with this minus 1 upon m and i will take on this side so it will become plus 1 upon mn is equal to a. So this is our result number 2 as we got sorry. This is our answer number 1 and this is answer number 2. Now here we are getting a and d. Now we can find anything whatever we want to find. We want to find mn term. So directly I am finding out a mn term is equal to a plus mn minus 1 into d. Now we are having value of a directly 1 upon mn plus mn minus 1 and here also d 1 upon mn. Now I am going to multiply this 1 upon mn with both these numbers 1 upon mn. When I will multiply with this, this mn mn will get cancelled so plus 1 and this will be minus 1 upon mn. So again this will get cancelled and we will get the answer that is a mn is equal to 1. So this way we can prove this. Moving toward the fourth sum, if p, q, rth term of an a, p, b, a, b and c, then prove that a into q minus r plus b into r minus p plus c into p minus q is equal to 0. They had given us this three term P, Q and R. With the help of this, we will form three equations and then we are going to put it in this and then we are going to prove it. But here the problem is they had given the answer of P term as A. So we are not going to suppose the first number as A. So first we have to suppose, suppose the first number of AP, first number of AP as X y x because a they had taken so our first number will be x and now we with the help of this we are going to form three equation p -th term is a so with the help of that a equals to a x plus because now our first number is x x plus p minus 1 into d this will be our equation number one second b is equal to q is b so b is equal to x plus q minus 1 into d result number 2 and then c is equal to r so x plus r minus 1 into d equation number 3 now what we are going to do we are going to put these three result in this lhs and then we are going to solve it look here i am going to solve it lhs that was a into q minus r. So instead of a, I am going to write down this. But I, first I will multiply this and then directly I am writing x plus pd minus d. Look here. In the, on the place of a, I am going to write this x plus pd minus d. And then q minus r plus b. On the place of b, I am going to write x plus qd minus d. Then R minus P plus on the place of C, I am going to write X plus RD minus D. 
into p minus q now i'm going to multiply all this one by one so how we are multiplying first x with this two number then pd with this two number and then minus d with this two number so i will get six answer for all this six answer for this six answer for this and six answer for this then i am going to cancel the like terms so first x into q x q x into minus r minus x r p d into q plus p d q p d into minus r minus p d r minus d into q minus d q and minus minus plus d r this is the answer of this multiplication now i am going to multiply this because it will not come here i am going to write it here plus x r minus p x then this q d with both plus r q d minus p q d then minus d r minus minus plus d p now i am going to multiply this two so again plus x p minus x q then r d plus p r d then minus r q d then minus d p and plus d q these are the 12 answers you sorry 18 answers you can see now i have to cancel it now look here x q and minus x q so cancel minus x r and plus x r this will also get cancelled and minus p x plus p x get cancelled now three three p d q plus p d q minus p d q you can see this will also minus p d r plus p d r this will also get cancelled plus r q d minus r q d will also get cancelled minus d q plus d q cancel plus d r minus d r cancel plus d p so everything will get cancelled so your lhs will be zero and your rhs was also zero so we can say lhs is equal to rhs thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you thank you so much